Hey everybody, welcome back to theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Again, it's theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Keep your questions coming in. I'll do them wherever I can right now. I'm in between different clients' offices. Just have a little bit of a break. So I wanted to get to someone's question. Someone asked a pretty good one, actually. It's someone who wants to be a CRA, and they're asking uh, who reports protocol deviations, serious adverse events, or even adverse events to the IRB. Now, first of all, you never will report adverse events um, to the IRB. You report serious adverse events, and you will report protocol deviations, but you not being the CRA. The CRA doesn't have actual involvement with the IRB. The CRA doesn't submit anything to the IRB. Uh, the CRA makes sure that the study coordinator and the PI are aware first of all, of the SAEs, and also are aware of the protocol deviations, and then they make sure that the site submits these things to the IRB. So the CRA does not actually do anything themselves. Same thing if you notice a protocol deviation at a site, you don't tell the IRB anything. What you do is you call the study coordinator in or the PI, you make them aware of it, and then you have them report it to the IRB, and then you follow up with them in your follow-up letters as an action item for them to report this to the IRB. So hopefully this helps, but great question. Keep them coming. This is Dan from theclinicaltrialsguru.com. I like these short and quick ones. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.